Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. I have missed you so. Guys, I've been so, so sick and <clears throat> I have not been posting and uploading as much as I would like to, um, but I feel so much better now. Uh, so the content's coming. It's coming, I promise. Uh, but speaking of being sick, I went to the doctor today you know, I had to go do my checkup. So I went to the doctor today and uh, because I went to the doctor, I got a chance to stop at a couple of stores. So I have a teeny, 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 teeny little haul for you guys today. Uh, I got some new skincare. I got some earrings. I got some makeup. I got some goodies. I found some treasures. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through what I got today and really just kind of uh, chit chat and uh, explore my new my new, my new treasures uh, together. Guys, if you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I love you already. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. You know, Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned. Anyway, uh, so without too much more uh, yip yapping, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get right to it. I am... I'm a little bit disappointed with the haul today, uh, just because I really didn't find a ton that I like couldn't live without. I found a couple of cute things, but nothing. Every time I walk into Burke's, because like I don't have a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or anything near me, uh, the closest one is about three hours away. So I keep hoping that eventually some BH Cosmetics is going to trickle down into the whole Burke's atmosphere, and it still hasn't happened yet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it happens uh, before it's all gone and I miss out on it. Um, it makes me so sad. But I think uh, because I am totally barefaced right now, I think that we'll start with the skincare and I'll kind of test some of it out. I actually found something that was super, super interesting today. So this is the, this is the Pure Greek, it's the Coors Pure Greek Olive Moisturizer. Guys, this looked so, so good. It didn't have the box, uh, but I did look it up online before I purchased it. I purchased this for $9.00. This says it's a, um, on the description online, it says it's a super creamy, 98% natural, like almost 100%, it's 98% all natural ingredients. It is, oh, first of all, I love the packaging. It is so, so beautiful. It's got this like lime olive green kind of uh, glass with a like super like uh, modest black top. I just kind of love the aesthetic of this. I think it's so, so nice. You open it up. And guys, it smells, oh, it's, it literally, it smells like really, really good, like fresh skincare. Like it's not like a, a in your face kind of smell, but it's got that like slight kind of fresh skincare smell. But then underneath it is this like slight vegetable, olivey. Oh, it just, it smells like, it smells kind of like olive oil and like the texture of it is so nice. Like, Oh, it just feels like so smooth and buttery. I have been excited to put this on my face. I used way too much of it. This is like a super thick, super, super rich cream. I checked it out online and they're actually uh, pretty affordable. I think originally this moisturizer went for like 30 or not, about 30 bucks, which again is not like, is not super affordable, but it's not like, you know, a $60 moisturizer, but there, especially for something that's like, um, a per, like all natural, I just kind of, I feel kind of like uppity when I put it on and it feels really, really nice. It feels like super hydrating and guys, my skin has been so dry because I've been so sick. I was really kind of looking for something that was going to give me that little bit of extra oomph that I needed because you, you know you don't mm, when you get sick you know how you always get my nails are busted they are busted guys I'm gonna fix those later tonight uh, but I really wanted to get this video done before I got super tired because again I've been at the doctors all day and you know the doc like being at the doctors all day is always so super it's draining like I know it's not a lot of effort and stuff but it just feels so draining it's like mentally just ugh, I'm just done for the day 
I am I'm digging this moisturizer though I'm super super happy that I picked it up I almost didn't because it was a little expensive um it was ten dollars and again I had never tried the brand before but after I looked it up and really kind of saw what everything was about it's a Greek company it is it's just I liked I liked I liked what I saw uh so I'm really happy that I picked it up it actually feels really really nice it's a nice rich moisturizer but it doesn't feel heavy it still feels really really nice and lightweight on my skin it's made my skin nice and glowy but it doesn't feel greasy at all I really really like this this is going to be I wouldn't say that this is a night cream but this feels like a really really nice day cream I would definitely definitely wear this the next thing I picked up was this. So this is the Koa Life Beauty Sleep Moisturizer. First of all, I picked this up just because it's in a lilac box and it just got me. Packaging got me 100%. This was $4. It was $4 uh, and originally it's $48. So I thought that was really, really nice. I like a good markdown. Um, and what it says on the package is it says uh, a... Okay. Let me read it to you. Let me read it to you. Organic aloe leaf. Oh, this, that's the ingredients. Duh. Okay, ultra moisture. Ultra moisturizing reduces visibility of aging, nourishes skin, restores dull, dry skin with hyaluronic acid. Guys, hyaluronic acid is like, ugh, it is the it ingredient right now. Everything has got hyaluronic acid in it, and it is so good for your skin. It's so good for your skin barrier. Um, it actually can help reduce uh, lines and wrinkles just because it helps to plump up the skin. So it's really, really good for that. Y'all know I'm all about kind of uh, trying to reduce. I really like that moisturizer. My skin feels really, really nice. I like that. I uh, guess know I'm all about the anti-aging stuff. I'm about to be 31 and just a couple of months and I feel like it's really time to kind of kick the skincare the you know anti-aging the let, let's let's turn back the hands of time just a little bit it's time to kick that into high gear so uh, it says how to use this it says apply a generous layer onto clean damp skin and massage onto skin leave overnight do not rinse off so what I'm thinking is this is pretty much like a kind of like an overnight mask so I'm down I'm down for that I think I'm gonna get a t uh, like a spray I think I'm gonna use this one so this is just a retinol spray because it says to massage onto dampened skin so I'm just gonna spray my face down real quick with this retinol spray this stuff is good, and like I can tell that it works, but y'all, it smells like laundry detergent for real. It smells 100% like I am sitting here, and I'm just like in a field of clean laundry. Ooh, okay. So that's what it looks like when I opened it up. It does say to shake well before using, so I think that is what I will do. It does. It says right there, shake well before using. I don't know if I'm going to have to shake it or if I'm going to have to stir it. Because y'all, that didn't look good. That didn't look good at all. Again, this was originally forty-eight, and I paid four for it. <coughs> okay, so it looks a little bit better. That is odd. I think I'm gonna stir it a little bit because it just doesn't look as emulsified as I want it to. So let's get a like a brush handle and kind of. Stir this up a little bit and see, let's see what's up. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. That looks a little bit better. See, that's the thing about getting skincare from like places like Burks and uh, TJ Maxx and stuff is you know what you're buying is old, y'all. You know it's old. You know it's been sitting on the shelf for at least an eternity. And it's been there long enough to trickle its way down to the discount stores. But you know what? If it still works, it still works. And I'm not going to be mad about it. I don't care if it looks like grossness. As long as it works, I'll be okay. We'll, we'll just we'll go for it. We'll see, we'll see what it does. Okay, so I put a good amount on my skin. It smells like straight up eucalyptus. It smells like... It's got like a, a medicinal smell to it. It does feel really nice though. It's got like a a slippy 
kind of quality to it. It feels like there's definitely oil in here though. It feels just a little bit heavier than I thought it was. I thought this was going to be more like an overnight mask and it, it doesn't feel that way at all. It feels much more like a Y'all, it smells like straight up eucalyptus though. That is kind of like, I've never used a face product that smelled like eucalyptus. It's kind of like weirding me out a little bit. It does feel really nice though. It's got that slip, like that hyaluronic acid slip to it. I'm gonna bring it down my neck. As well I tell you what though it's making my skin look so good so shiny and dewy it definitely has like an oiliness to it not like a greasiness but you can tell that there's like essential maybe not essential but like there it's like it's got like an oilness to it that I just kind of, I use facial oils anyway so I'm good for it but if you guys are not into facial oils probably isn't for you I'm not, I'm not sure how I, I feel about the smell though. Like the smell is kind of like taking me off guard. I don't know that the smell is my favorite. I do like the way that it has made my skin feel though. It hasn't pilled up or balled up. So that lets me know that it plays well with other products because I just put that other moisturizer on. So it's working well with other products. That feels really nice. It's made my skin look nice and glowy. Ooh, it feels like super moisturizing. I kind of like that. I don't like, it It definitely has like oil to it though, because it's made my hands feel kind of greasy. So this is one of those ones that I'll definitely have to, like after I use, I would definitely have to wash my hands. I'm gonna try to rub it into my hands though, because my, uh, my knuckles, they get so dry. And I've been washing my hands, like, I washed my hands so many times today because I'm so paranoid. When I go to the doctor, I'm so paranoid that I'm going to bring something home. So I washed my hands, like, a million and one times today. I went through damn near a whole bottle of uh, hand sanitizer. So there's that. But, ooh, I really, really like this. I'm not crazy about the way it smells. Um, but I will report back to you on this. It does feel really nice. My face feels like super moisturized. I don't know. So I got that. I will say I probably, I think I like the moisturizer a little bit better than this product. But it's okay. I only, only spent $4 on it. I'm not going to be mad. We're not mad. Uh, guys, I hit the jackpot though. So I know everybody has been like, you know, it's it's summer. It's spring. But summer is coming. And we're all gonna about to be out in the sunshine. Uh, so... And I don't have an SPF. So I picked one up. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. Uh, original, guys, This I think this was like eight bucks. Um, you get, how much do you get in here? You get 1.18 fluid ounces. So 35 mils. This is, it's a sunscreen. It says helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. Okay. So it's basically a sunscreen, but what it says it does is it's supposed to go on and it's supposed to like be a, it's supposed to be like a primer and a sunscreen in one. So I'm super, super excited about that, especially like I said, with summer coming up and it like feels, ooh, it's like thick. Like that's what came out. It's like thick. It feels kind of like silicone -y. and it says it's, blur oh my gosh. Okay. So wait a minute, y'all. So this is my hand. This is what my hand looks like. See all them pores? So I just put the sunscreen right here. Can y'all see how blurred that is? I am here for it. This is going to be a bomb, bomb primer. It feels like it's really heavy with the silicone, though. I'm going to look at the... And, of course, the ingredients are not on here. But I'll tell you what. Silicone has got to be one of the very first ingredients in here. I will absolutely guarantee it but i'm okay with silicone it looks super super blurring this would be one of those things that i would feel totally comfortable putting on my face to like go to the pool or something like that just to kind of help blur and even out my face and my complexion uh you know and it's got sunscreen in there so it's a twofer i would totally this would be like a perfect primer for like beach day or a pool day i like that i'm happy i picked that up and then i, I hit the jackpot y'all i found 
Y'all, I found milk makeup at my Burks. It is absolutely astounding to me to have found milk makeup. I've never seen them at Burks before ever, but I, I totally, I totally hit the jackpot. So I found the Milk Makeup Kush uh, Fiber Brow Gels, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. I am so freaking excited. I've never used this before. I've heard everybody talk about it though. And this was actually a super, super affordable price. I got this for $5. Uh, this is in the shade haze i actually got two because i didn't know what color was going to work best for me so i got one in the shade haze and then i got one in the shade herb this one looks a little bit darker this one's definitely like a little bit more blonde so i'm hoping i'm hoping that both of those will work for me just depending just depending on how i'm feeling if i want like a more bold brow or if i want something that's a little bit more natural i'm gonna go ahead and put the shade uh haze on just to kind of see what it, uh, you know, what it, what it does, uh, how it performs. I already have a little bit of my e.l.f. Wow Brow Wonder Brow, e.l.f. Instant Brow Pencil on. I use uh, two different shades. I use the shade Taupe and then the shade Medium Brown. I'm so blind, guys. I use the shade Taupe and the shade, I think that's Medium Brown. And I'm just going to kind of run this through. my brows just to see what happens. I've heard so many people that really, really love this. I actually really like the color. It's not too dark, but it's dark enough to show up. So I'm really happy with the color I picked. That looks really, really nice. It looks like it's doing a great job of separating the lashes. Not the lashes, of separating the brow hairs and really standing everything up. I like that. That's pretty. Definitely isn't something that I could use alone, but I don't ever use a brow product, a brow gel alone anyway. I always go in with a pencil first, but that looks really, really nice. We'll see once it dries if it really keeps everything in place. But it has made my brows look nice and bushy. And it does look like it's given them a little bit of volume. Which I can definitely use because my brows are pretty sparse. And I actually really, really like that color. It's like dark enough to like make like to be seen. But it's not too dark. It doesn't look like I have like mean brows. I am into this. This is so nice. Guys, I was so stoked when I saw this. I lost my freaking mind. Speaking of losing your freaking mind, guys, I also found this. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. I got this for $7. It's in the shade Black Ore. Black Ore, uh, shade 42 Black Ore. I am so freaking stoked. This is what it looks like. The packaging is so, so beautiful. I will say that I thought this was going to be heavier. Like, I, when I think of Marc Jacobs, I think of luxury. I think of, like, excess. I think of, like, you know, highfalutin society. That kind of stuff. <clears throat> and when I saw pictures of this pencil, I thought, it, for some reason, I thought it was going to be, like, in a metal container. And it was going to be, like, metal packaging and be... I mean, it looks silver. It looks like it's metal. I thought it was going to be super heavy and like luxe feeling and like super substantial. It is not. Uh, it is still plastic. It is still placket, uh, placket, plastic packaging. It does look really, really nice though. It definitely looks like the most expensive eyeliner I have. And that is because it is, I think originally, how much does it say? $12 originally. And I got it for half off. I got it for six. It's just a black eyeliner, guys, but I'm running out of my Milani one. So, and it, it's actually super, super creamy. It looks nice and like pigmented. It looks really nice and opaque. It looks nice and rich. I'm excited. You guys know that I use black eyeliner all the time. Almost every single time I do my makeup, I put a black eyeliner on. So this I will definitely get use out of. And now I can say that I own a Marc Jacobs product. But not only do I own one, but I own two. Guys, I found the mini of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I paid $5 for this, just for this teeny tiny tube. 
I kind of I kind of hate myself for spending that much on just a teeny tiny bottle of mascara but it's Marc Jacobs and I really just couldn't help myself I, I saw it at Burke's and I just kind of lost I lost my mind a little bit and I was just like you like in the cart so that's what we did I actually think the packaging is really really nice again it's just classic Marc Jacobs black and silver it looks really really nice uh, I haven't opened it yet I don't want to open it yet I'm gonna finish the tube of mascara I've got right now and then I'll probably move on to this but I'm super excited I feel feel like I've heard a lot of good stuff about the major volume mascara and not only that but it's in the shade black which is the shade I wear I am stoked I feel like the makeup gods were on my side just a little bit today and really found and guided me to a couple of awesome awesome treasures so I can't wait to use this out I can't wait to use the eyeliner and yeah so that was it for like the high-end products that I got uh, I also picked up a new primer this is from the W7 it's the keep it glassy primer this is a it says it's a luminous primer I'm all for luminous primers, especially in the summer. Uh, I just want to be dewy and glowy and look like, you know, I'm just like, I'm sweating, but not really sweating. I just want to look like slightly glossy, like the entire time. So I'm down. This actually looks really, really nice. I love the packaging. It's a frosted glass bottle with gold hardware. It's got a squeezy top. It says you're supposed to shake it first. And then... Let's test her out and see what she looks like. Let's do two drops and rub it in. I can see that it's got like a pearlescent uh, kind of sheen to it. It feels nice. It feels nice and hydrating. It's got a little bit of that like kind of slippy feeling to it. No smell. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up or not, but it does have just that little bit of like a pearlescent kind of iridescent sheen to it. I feel like this would be really, really pretty. I don't know how much this would show up under makeup, uh, but even for like a no makeup makeup day, I th th think this would be super, super nice or even mixed in with your foundation. I feel like that would be super, super pretty. I actually really, really like that. My camera's not doing it justice, but there is just a very slight kind of pearlescent iridescent kind of sheen I like that how much did I pay for how much did I pay for you I paid three dollars for this so not bad three dollars you get I think it's an ounce of product yeah one fluid ounce of product I'm not mad at it and I love primers I'm a primer chick I, a lot of times if I'm not wearing makeup I'll come in and I'll put a primer on just to kind of like smooth out my face a little bit and I'll be out the door. Primers are great for that. You don't always have to wear a primer to wear makeup. Sometimes primers are, it's like, I look at it as kind of like skincare. A lot of times primers just give you that little bit of something extra without having to go the full mile. And I really appreciate that. I also picked up a couple of uh, eyeshadow palettes um, from the brand Technique. I know that I've spoken about Technique uh, on my channel before. I I only get them from Burks. It's the only place that I've found them anywhere near me. They are a UK based brand and they're so, so good. They're huge over in like England and like a lot of people talk about them. I don't see them very often over here, but when I do see them, I always, always, always pick up like a new palette because they're just so good. I love the formula. They're just really, really great eyeshadows for really, really great prices. So this is the Hot Love palette. I got this for $3.99. I feel like this might be a like Valentine's Day themed kind of palette. But of course, it's got all kinds of pinks in there. Uh, so I was on it. You guys know that I love a good pink eyeshadow. It is kind of my thing. I'm just going to rip this box to pieces because it's got tape on it and I didn't bring scissors over. So let's just rip it apart and get it out of there. This is the Hot Love palette. It says it's a pressed pigment palette. I paid $4 for it. There are three, six, nine to them. 15 shades in here. I really like the color story. A lot of the Technique palettes, palettes are super, super neutral with pops of color. I feel like neutrals is what they do best. Uh, I've never seen them come out with like a bright orange palette or a br bright blue palette. It's always neutrals with pops of color. They make very, very easy to use, very wearable palettes with super, super great quality. I love these. I cannot wait to dip my fingers into some of these pinks. This, like, orangey coral is screaming to me. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at that pigmentation, guys. For a $3 palette, you cannot beat that. I, I, don't, I don't care if this palette costs $15. The pigmentation and the creaminess of their shadows is unparalleled. They're so fantastic. So that was that really beautiful coral shade. That was a matte shade. Let's go into the matte pink. 
and again yeah it performs the exact same way Ooh, i'm so happy i picked this up let's go into a shimmer let's go into this really pretty pink shimmer so so pretty really really beautiful just like a baby pink shimmer i'm so super happy i found these i've been wanting to pick up a new eyeshadow palette uh, but again i just didn't want to buy something just to buy something but this really really caught my eye and i love it so so much so yes happy 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 and then i also picked up this one now this one is not something that's like i kind of needed in my life uh, because i have a palette that looks almost identical to this but when i saw that i thought oh battle of the brands we're gonna do a battle of the palettes so this is the technique trend setter palette really really beautiful again super neutral palette with pops of blue so so stunning are you gonna open so pretty i just love this color story i feel like it is very wearable like this is this is the everyday woman right here but i saw this color palette <coughs> sorry i'm still sick i'm still getting over it i saw this color story and i actually thought about the palette that i actually wore out today and that is the profusion royal eyes palette i actually wore this palette to the doctor i had wore this on my eyes today uh, to go to the doctor's office and the color story to me just looks so so similar so those are the two color stories side by side and I thought they just looked so super similar. I'm going to do a battle of the brands uh, and kind of verse these two palettes against each other. So that'll probably be my next video. I'm super, super stoked about it. Uh, I will say that these uh, shades look a little bit lighter, but overall the two colors stories look very, very similar. And I want to see if I can get a pretty similar eye look with using both of them. I'm wondering which uh, formula I'm going to like better. I have a feeling I might like the technique formula better just because I'm partial to them, but I really, really love profusion as well so uh be on the lookout that's going to be the next video that i shoot and i'm super 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 excited about it i love when things just kind of pop up and happen that way and you're kind of like ooh, light bulb moment uh and it just kind of is so organic it's one of my favorite favorite things the universe is funny that way so those were the two eyeshadow palettes i got i also got some earrings guys i love burks for earrings they have some of the most adorable like super unique uh sets of earrings that just kind of oh they're so so good i love them i cannot wait to show you guys what i got i got a couple of really really cute funky pairs of earrings <clears throat> i am a super funky earring wearer anyway i love a good pair of statement earrings i love something that people see and are like "Ooh, those are so, so cute or sometimes you can just wear a tank top guys this is like basically my uniform tank tops and a pair of jean shorts it's what i wear all summer but you can like accessorize it and kind of amp it up with like a funky pair of earrings or chunky necklaces or things like that and it really elevates the entire thing uh so i found a couple of super super cute ones first of all look at these look at these earrings are these not the most adorable things you've ever seen in your life? Guys, these were $5. I couldn't help myself. I had to pick them up. They're freaking flamingos. They are pink diamond flamingos, and they are everything. They are life. They're giving me life right now. I cannot, absolutely cannot wait to wear these. These are the most, I've never seen a pair of earrings like this. I am so, so stoked. Uh, the next pair I got, I thought these were just absolutely oh, so, so cute. So these are puka shell earrings. I think that they are absolutely just adorable. Horrible. they've got these bright yellow little tassels on them they look done but undone at the same time they're very boho chic i thought that with a like uh kind of like a lace uh oh, i don't know what they're called but kind of like a lace throw with a pair of tank tops and ripped shorts uh and a pair of like white strappy high heels this would be super super cute or like white strappy sandals i thought that these would be so chic and so kind of like they just give me vibes and i just feel like i could make an entire outfit around this pair of earrings and it would look so so cute so definitely stay tuned i'll definitely be posting these as soon as i can find the right pieces to pair with it the next pair i got guys these i just thought were so so pretty they're all seeing eye earrings i love a good pair of dangly earrings anyway and these are gold i prefer gold over silver i feel like it just goes with my coloring better but these are so pretty and dangly earrings i feel like just dress up everything they're always like they're always uh they're always appropriate they're just i feel like they're elegant and they're fun and they just kind of elevate anything you pair them with and i thought these were so so cute so you've got the all-seeing eye and then you've also got like these little hands up here and then the star 
I think they're still pretty. I love them. And then I also got these. These are the Catherine Melandrino. I don't know. I really liked the shape of these though. I really liked the kind of like grungy, like off jewel tones of these. The black ones will go with everything. I thought the yellow pair was really, really fun. I didn't really have anything quite like them. And then of course, white goes with everything as well. I like that they have gold hardware. These are just really pretty and like, um, they just will go with everything just because they're so simple and they just look very elegant and very, they just kind of pull an outfit together and make a statement at the same time they make a statement without making a statement they're like understated and it's so so pretty i love 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 earrings like this and i love how thin the actual hardware is so it really just looks like they're kind of floating in midair so so pretty and they also have a nice weight to them i enjoy a nice heavy pair of earrings um, i know a lot of people don't but i enjoy a nice heavy pair of earrings i like to know that i have earrings in and these are so heavy they feel so well made i'm just i'm totally totally into these so so pretty um i also got this pair which i thought was just super super cute the enamel kind of earrings and the enamel jewelry i feel like it's going to be a big thing this summer uh so i definitely picked these up i liked the small details on these they kind of have that like marbled quality to them but again they're super super plain uh they're like a plain color but they're a fun shape and i find that that's really like it's an easy way to incorporate something funky into the wardrobe if you keep it a simple color but go for a nice funky shape and i really really like this i like that they're nice and chunky uh they're heavy but not super heavy like i, I don't know they kind of remind me of shower curtain rings but in the best way possible i just am really really feeling these i like these a lot I also got this pair from Tahari. Now, I know Tahari is a is a like makeup brand. I own some of their makeup. Their makeup's actually all right. Um but these I just thought were so so pretty. Uh they're again, they're nicely they're nicely made. They're nice and heavy. Uh they're pink and blue kind of cut earrings. I just love these. And I feel like I could wear these with just about anything. Well, just about anything pink or blue but I just think they're they're colorful without being like too bright and too loud I just really like them and I really liked the shape they uh, they're like classy and elegant but like fun at the same time I really really liked those and then the last one of the second to last pair guys look at these freaking earrings <laughs> I love these so much they're little freaking watermelons I am so so here for them they are absolutely adorable guys these were uh six dollars but they're they're so cute. Again, they have uh, gold hardware, but they're little slices of watermelon. They're like beaded, but they're nice and heavy. They have metal backing on them, so I don't feel like they're going to like fall apart. And these are just like quintessential summertime earrings. So much fun. These ones and the flamingo ones are probably two of my absolute favorites. Uh, they're def definitely the kitschiest and like the most they're just the cutest pairs of earrings and I am so in love with them. I cannot wear, wait to wear both of these. And then the last pair I got are just these really big chunky enamel hoops. I actually lost the back to one of these in the bag. I'll have to find it somewhere, but these are just really big chunky pinky purple enamel hoops. I don't know. I thought they looked funky and weird and just like, I love big hoops. So I had to pick them up. They were $2 and not really a big spend guys, I think uh, that is about it for today's haul. Oh, I want to talk to you about the candy bar of the week. The candy bar of the week, week is going to be the Lint Lindor Caramel Truffle Bar. Guys, these are so freaking good. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know about you, but I definitely, definitely love a good truffle. Like that melt in your mouth, rich, buttery yumminess is unparalleled. And these are so, so good. Uh, these are the, again, uh, the caramel milk chocolate flavored, and they're so good. They don't actually have a like a uh, cream center but they are so good they're buttery they're creamy they're rich mm. Mm. so good so if you're into caramel if you're into chocolate definitely try this bad boy out so so worth your time so so yummy oh my goodness i missed something let me swallow okay so I also picked up this. This is a Laura Mercier matte eye color single. I got this for $6. And I basically picked it up because I love anything Laura Mercier. Um, and when I can find her stuff for prices that I can actually afford, I usually jump on it. But another reason I picked this up is because it's a black eyeshadow. 
and I use so much black eyeshadow it's crazy I actually have already swatched this it's a really really gorgeous super rich soft smooth velvety black eyeshadow and I use black all the time especially when I'm trying to deepen up my outer crease and I thought it was perfect to have a single shadow so that way I'm not having to pull out uh and you know an entire eyeshadow palette just for a black single just for a black shade I can just keep this sitting on my desk and reach for it every time I just need to dark darken or deepen up my outer corner guys that's today's video i hope you enjoyed it uh if you guys would like to see more hauls in the future let me know in the comments below i would definitely love to hear from you guys uh let me know if there's anything out there that you want me to try anything that you guys would like to see from me i am definitely down for any kind of constructive criticism you guys might have to offer and yeah i'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee because my voice is starting to break not 100 percent healthy yet but we're getting there slowly but surely uh, be on the lookout for that Battle of the Brands uh, video. It is coming soon. I'm going to try to film that tomorrow. And yeah, guys, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. And it's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I know that your time is precious, and I am so, so grateful that you choose to spend it with me. I hope you come back next time. I would definitely love to have you. Until then, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.